What's up everyone? Well, we're here today at Sherp Tech and I wanted to show you this massive F550 on 41 inch tires with buck stop super single conversion and big old bumper. Anyways, this thing is awesome. Um, it's got a flatbed with an Arctic Fox camper right now and it will in the future have a Sherp Tech flatbed. We're gonna meet the owner as well as check out and how Ryan and his team kind of inspect the rig. But in, in some of our adventures, which take us down south into the, for example, we just got back from the southern tip of Baja and back to Oregon. Uh, so we did that trip in a, in a, with this truck camper that I have on here and then a, a Ram 3500 single rear wheel and uh, overall did great. But uh, we got turned around in a few spots, like couldn't quite make it. The, the leverage of the truck was too much for the singles. And my wife and I decided we don't, we want to go to those surf spots. We don't want to get turned around. So yeah started uh, dreaming up, mostly me, started dreaming <laughs> up this, uh, this build is the, the Ford F550 with the uh, super single conversion. Mm -hmm. So pretty sure we can make it down every road we want to get down to so we can surf those special surf breaks. Yeah, I mean, you could try this one if you want. It's just the new Olight M2R Warrior Pro. It's like 1800 lumens. It's not a big deal. Olight. Do I have to hold it in? Dang. No, you can click it down. Fully rechargeable 5000 milliamp lithium battery. Oh, dang. And this is the new OD Green. No big deal. Pretty cool, huh? What do you think about it compared to your... Uh, Whatever that light is. I mean, I gotta get this thing up close to like inspect stuff. And this thing's like, I can inspect from back here. <laughs> yeah, you might even not, not even need that creeper, huh? Exactly. <laughs> well. All right. Let me. I'm gonna keep playing with this thing then. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Feel free. The battery lasts plenty. Does it have a mag yeah, a magnet and everything. Yep. Magnetic on the back. And if that's too big for you, they got this little guy. Hold on, let me try to find it on my keychain. Oh, it's right there. There you go. Oh, that's yeah. pretty crazy too. This is for... brighter than our other light too. <laughs> that's pretty handy dandy. It's like the size of your thumbnail. It's like my pinky, not well, even my pinky. Uh, that's sweet. And rechargeable, yeah? Yeah, it's got a actually a micro SD. That's one of their first really small keychain lights that's rechargeable. Where do you get so to the charger sweet. in here? Whoops, I started taking it up. Yeah. Yeah, if you uh if you untwist it, you see right there. See oh, that yeah. micro Pop SD? That that's pretty cool, huh? Oh, very cool. Yeah. See that little guy. Sweet. Did you see this thing? Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't know they made them that small and rechargeable too. Yeah. I'm gonna try it I'll hold here. on to my little guy. As we do our uh, final inspection here. Things like bright. Yeah. E-brake here. Here. E brackets? Yep, so if you're on the side of the frame. Mm -hmm. That should be everything back there. A few bolts on the bottom. So. That's everything in the back? There you have it, folks. A real life application of the Olight M2R. Check the link below for that description. We're going to have a huge sale, like always. And uh, let's get back to more details on this sweet truck. No, 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 the, um, sorry. It, that bracket goes. So this is the shop truck F450 that's getting an 11 foot bed right now. Um, this is a Sherp Tech bed in process, but that is the beast. 6.7 liter turbo diesel F550. Oh, isn't she beautiful? And again, this thing was a dually. So these are buck stops, super single conversions. Or, uh, sorry, conversion wheels. They're single wheels on a du dually. Well, let's go see what Ryan and Miles are doing, checking out the rig. Got Pia lights and big old 18,000 pound super winch. This buck stop looks sweet though. I really like it with the lines of the grill on the Ford. So yeah, this is essentially a Baja rig. 
and what better rig for Baja? You're, you're gonna be able to fit this everywhere you need to go and be able to mob with a comfortable Arctic Fox home. With a nice aluminum superstructure. So, not, not a bad setup. Sounds pretty. All right, well now, let's check it out with this Arctic Fox on the back. How's the height? We were just talking about um, some previous builds that you've had. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, tell us about that and why you kind of ended up here. Well, yeah. So I've had uh, quite a few previous builds. I think we go this way. Sprinter, four uh, by four sprinter, sprinter, four right? by four, which is a great rig. I had a company out of Portland uh, build that up for me. It's a great rig, but you know, for a family of three, sometimes four, and a dog, it just. Um, it was just too small. Mm -hmm. So then we switched back to a Class C RV, had it converted to 4x4. Uh, fantastic rig. Uh, we're making some plans a few years out to uh, take this thing down to yeah, South America and, and or wherever. But that's uh, yeah. sort of next on our horizon. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, that's exciting. That's super cool. It's cool to hear, yeah, all the rigs you've had before, lots of varieties, and I think a lot of people with a lot of experience usually end up to truck campers for some reason, or any rig you have. It's, right. it's fun to hear that. Yeah, the truck yeah. camper has been sort of the uh, the Goldilocks of it all. We're still trying to fine tune that, the truck camper, which one's going to suit our needs best. Uh, yeah. Uh, we think we have it narrowed down, but you know, we're, there's uh, you know, there's give and take with everything. Slide, yeah. not slide, pop up, not pop up. So it's. Uh, we're getting, we're getting close. Yeah, you got the Arctic Fox with the slide right now, yeah. and you're thinking of going with the Northern Light, is that right? With the Northern Light, yeah. yeah. My uh, my wife was actually at the expo, or RV show today in Portland, and she said, we think it's gonna be big enough, so uh, I'm gonna swing by there tomorrow and look at it and see if uh, see if we think that'll be the, the real Goldilocks for us. Nice, yeah, a lot of people, I've, I've actually on YouTube in comments when I claim a camper is the best or it's so uh -huh. great, People are like, no, Northern Lights and Bigfoots. Yeah. They, I get so many comments because they're fiberglass yeah. and, like you said, two-piece. Two-piece clamshell. Yeah. 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 True so four cool. season. Man, I didn't even realize you're driving, too. You're doing a great job <laughs> explaining everything. Driving driving. I'm just trying to point the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I might be getting this lost, but... Yeah, well, we'll figure it out. Yeah. But, yeah, it's got a great turning radius, which is cool. Like, there's... Uh, oh, look, we're coming up on... on Class A RV. Yeah, that That's fun. Speaking of different camper options. <laughs> oh, nice little little drop down a curb. Oh, no. Not even. Yeah. So, yeah, what do you think so far of uh, of the rig? And the, you, so, so the main upgrades you got right now are the 41s and a little bit of a lift, right? Yeah, so it was buck the stop. Uh, buck stop conversion. It was the, yeah, so 41 inch uh, Continental MPT 81 tires. Uh, so, and then uh, 18, no, 20 inch wheel. Um, and three and a half inch lift plus the size of the tires moves us up uh, quite a ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like seven inches. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty big. You're gonna put yeah. some steps on. I've, yeah, I've heard. need some yeah. steps, yeah. Yeah, right. that'll give you room for, and you're gonna do a Sherp Tech bed, right? Yep, Sherp Tech yeah. bed. Yeah, I'm gonna work yeah. with. Been great working with Ryan over the last several months to, to uh, you know, really fine tune this thing and and uh, just seeing the the attention to detail that that the, him and his team put into everything from the, you know, the, the return of the phone calls quickly to answering questions. Seemingly, I think they work around the clock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then the attention to detail that they show in the shop, with you know, just like every every I is dotted and T crossed. They don't they don't let anything go by the wayside. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be phase two of my build is the Sherp Tech bed. Nice. I'm already trying to push his limits on how low I can make my bed and yeah. and you know push, pushing his uh, his engineering a little bit maybe. Yeah. He's always up for the challenge. Everyone, oh. everyone they look, their eyes just yeah. locked on. So, yeah, we got a thumbs up <laughs> from a, a passerby there. 
That's cool. Well, I'm really excited to see it with the Shrimp Tech bed and uh, yeah, thanks for sharing your story yeah, with us. Well, thanks for watching the video of this F550 beast. Stay tuned for more awesome content. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. And the only question is, are you down to mob? Oh yeah, and subscribe too. See you later. <laughs> mob. <laughs>